All right, I've got this thing turned around, so with Facebook Live video, it turns everything opposite. So I wanted to make sure, well, let's see if I can get a different marker, to make sure you guys can see this. So I'm gonna go back and forth, just wanna see how this looks. Got it, okay, cool. So hopefully you can see me, I'm not cut off here. So kind of what we're doing with this client that's coming in today, uh, I got the call over the weekend, I think it was on Sunday, and just like, how this, you know, in this market, people have to sell something before they buy, right? Very, very important, okay? Uh, I can't see your comments right now, guys, because I got a point in this way with my stand, so I'll, I'll, after the video, I'll comment back and forth with any questions, okay? But I wanted to show you this here, okay? They were set up with another lender to go FHA. Now, they're buying something for about 230, okay? They have a house, they have a lot of equity in that house, okay? But they want to buy this house first, and then sell their house after, okay? There's a possibility that it could sell uh, first, okay? But let's walk this through here, okay? There's a big thing that people don't understand, okay? It's called recasting the payment. You do not have to refinance the payment. So let's say they sell their house, let's say it's three months from now, and then they wanna put like $100,000 down on, you know, basically from, from the original loan amount from doing 5% down originally. Uh, most people say, well, you're gonna have to refinance and get rid of MI. No, that's not the case. You can recast the payment, okay? But not only recast the payment, get, get rid of the, the PMI as well. Uh, usually it's a 90-day window. Sometimes you could do it sooner than that, depending on circumstances, okay? So let's start from the top here. The key in recasting, okay, with this situation, they are selling their house, but it's gonna be after they buy the new house, okay? Big, big, it was very common. The same thing happened, same thing happened to me like six months ago. So Basically, you have to go conventional. You cannot recast with government loans. That FHA, no, you know, FHA, VA, USDA, that's a no-go. You cannot recast the payment. So you have to go conventional. They're going to do 5% down, okay? So when we recast it, all right, when they sell their current house, okay? So when they sell the house, they're going to have a lot of equity in it. It's going to be about $100,000, so they're going to want to put that money down. Now, most people don't even talk about recasting because they want you to refinance so they can get paid again, okay, which is ridiculous. Recasting costs about 250 bucks, okay? So instead of refinancing, okay, and paying everything over again, uh, then they can just basically uh, just recast the payment for $250 and the payment's based on, on the new loan amount, okay? So when they, when they sell their house, they're gonna put money down, they're gonna call the servicer, servicer and and I mean like we're gonna help them with that we're gonna walk them through all that but basically call them up and say listen I got a hundred thousand dollars I definitely want to put it down towards the principal it's got to be more than ten thousand dollars so when they take that money and put it down towards a towards a brand new loan amount then they can uh, you know have a brand new payment okay without paying all the closing cost fees okay only two hundred fifty dollars so worth it okay so when they do that uh, they can also get rid of mortgage insurance. So when they make that call already, I already got all the documentation right here. When they make that call, they, they can get rid of the MI. So they don't have to wait two years, okay? Because they're gonna have more than 20% than, than equity inside the property. So this is key, okay? It's all about advising the client. If they would've went FHA like they were, like they were supposed to do, they're screwed. They have to have MI for the life of the loan, even if they have 50% equity inside that property. It's kind of ridiculous, right? So now they can actually go conventional, do a little bit more down up front, but the long term is gonna be key. They're gonna get rid of MI, they're gonna recast the payment, so the payment's gonna be based on, on the brand new lower uh, amount now instead of the you know instead of the five percent down. And, and they can keep on going. It doesn't restart the clock again. They don't have to start at 30 years and start all over again. So if they paid four or five months, it just continues from that. Okay? It's a win-win. So they have to wait about 90 days. Sometimes you can do it sooner, circumstances, okay? Or the best case scenario, if they sell their house first, which is a very good possibility, okay? If they sell their house first, then all this can go away and not have to worry about it. But this is a huge tool, realtors and buyers and sellers. Understand, when you're trying to sell a house, and let's say, you know, I'm a seller, you know, basically, you know, somebody, somebody's bringing me a contract, I'm gonna be real nervous about having their house on contingency for sale because it's a hot market right now. Why take my house off the market? So keep this in mind. This is one way to kind of get around it. Also, we counsel them and, and let them know, hey, your first payment, okay, so let's say we're closing, I think we're closing June 28th. Your first payment's not gonna be until August 1st. So they're gonna have about 30 days, they have until the 15th before a late payment. They actually have almost 45 days before their first payment. 
So once we walked them through that part, before we even got to any of this, they were like, okay, that makes total sense, okay? So keep that in mind when you're trying to sell your house, trying to buy, and, and the seller doesn't want to take a, you know, con, you know, basically a contingency on the sale of your house, keep this in mind, but you got to go conventional. That's the key. If you go conventional, then a lot of this stuff is going to fall like dominoes, okay? Um, and, then, and then you're right back into, I mean, right back into the exact loan, but all we're doing is just switching it. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions on that. I can't see anybody right now, but I'll respond as soon as I, uh, you know, come around on the other side and finish on it, all right? So that's the game plan for today for our client coming in. Talk to you soon.